Hi everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome to another Monday video with me and Vinya Stamps. And today I'm going to share with you how I created this really simple but effective card using my Squarely gel plate. I've got Distress Oxides in the background and then I've got brushes on the top. The stamps that I'm going to be using are Luna Tree Goddess. Isn't she gorgeous? So that's a whole one stamp. I've got the Dragonfly from the Mini Bug set. In the background, I've got Sea of Fairy, those words there. I love the font of that. So that's what I've got in the background. And then for here, I've got Berry Leaves. Now in this stamp set, you get two, and I've used the larger one here. As always, I'm using Multifarious cardstock, which is 330 GSM. It's super smooth. The colours that I'm going to be using for my background, I've got spiced marmalade on the plate. The brushes I'm going to be using white, sunburst lemon, orange and turquoise. And then I've got mowed lawn, rustic wilderness around the edge. For my stamping, I've got nocturne for the silhouettes. For my words, I'm using golden meadow. And then for the berry leaves, I've got Green Oasis and Vedant. You'll have seen me use these a lot. <laughs> I love them. I love the way that they work so well together. I'm also going to be using a couple of fan brushes because they help me apply the brushes. I've also got a Posca pen and my stickles. So stay tuned and we'll get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is just I've got my squarely gel plate. I've got my spiced marmalade and distress oxides with my brayer. Next to me, I've got a piece of kitchen towel, which I use to pick up the splatters from the brushes. But I'll go through that as I get to it. The first thing is I'm going to ink up this brayer. And I ink it up by placing it down on the pad, pulling it across and lifting it up at the end. So in this rolling effect, the, the brayer then lands up with different coverages. You don't need to cover the whole brayer because we are going to do the same onto the plate. Place it down, pull it and lift it up. And you're going to go over and over several times. That way you eliminate any bubbles any beading, you've got a lovely smooth surface. I'm going to clean off my brayer with a piece of card and then I will just store my brayer that way up. I never store my brayer with the roller side down just in case there's anything on my top and my worktop and it dents the soft pad. So I keep it upright. Next thing is with my brushos. I keep my brushos ready mixed in this buddy palette. Today we're going to be using sunburst lemon orange, a bit of turquoise, not too much, but just a hint to create that texture in the background. And then white over the top to soften the whole effect. So I'm going to take my fan brush, sunburst lemon in first, and I just pop my brush into the brushos like that and then I will take it straight to my kitchen towel just so that I pick off any of the biggest blobs and I'm just going to gently I've got a ruler here and I'm just going to tap the end of my paintbrush splattering this yellow over the entire surface of the plate then I'm going to pick up orange and do the same. Little less orange because it is a darker colour. I clean off my fan brush in between each application of colour. Now I'm going to pick up the blue. Now because it's such a very bright, vibrant blue, I'm just going to be really gentle. Tap off the big blobs. Then I'm going to go around the edge and you can hear how lightly I'm tapping. And then a couple of blobs in the centre, literally just a couple. 
that's going to create this lovely um, interest in the centre of our card. Then I'm going to pick up white. And this you can be quite generous with. Splatter over the entire surface of the plate. Over the top of everything. I'm going to move these out of the way. Then I'm going to take my card, which is half an A4 sheet. I like to use a card that's slightly larger than my gel plate. That way, if I don't lay it flat, no problems. And there we have something super fun. So you can see why the turquoise in the centre has melded with the yellow to create this sort of greeny haze. Now, when that dries, it's going to dry a little more vibrant. Um, so I am going to let it dry on its own. You can use a heat gun, no problems. I'm going to cut, trim it down to size and I'll be back in a second. So here we have our gorgeous background, lovely and dry. Now, I am going to stamp the main image, which is our lovely lunar tree goddess. I am going to use my stamping platform for this. And that's because the brushos create a bit of a texture on the surface of the card. And because she's such a dense stamp, I just want to make sure that it comes out right. So I'm going to ink her up with Nocturne. Give it a good solid coverage of the ink and then just pop it down. I am going to leave it a few seconds onto the card so that the ink has an opportunity to soak in because as I say the brushes have created a bit of texture on the surface. So, as you can see, it hasn't come out completely. There are a few bits of white texture in there. So, I'm just going to do it again. Lovely. So, she's really solid and clear. Now I'm going to take Green Oasis and Vedant, which are two of my favourite greens, with my berry leaves. I'm going to take the largest stamp in that set and I'm going to ink up first with a Vedant and then with a Green Oasis. That way it creates this layered look. It gives you a bit of texture and because of the sort of vibrancy of the Vedant, makes it really quite interesting. So I'm just popping this, they're not too close together along the bottom because I'm going to overlap some of them with the green oasis. And you can see I like to take my ink pad to my stamp as opposed to the other way around. There we go. So I've created those at different heights. That's useful and um, interesting too. So green oasis but before that I'm just going to clean off my stamp with some water making sure that your stamp is dry before you put the ink on otherwise it won't be as crisp an image as you would like. So I like to put the edge stamp taller that again you're creating this look where we're encapsulating her in this lovely frame and then we're just going to pop these different heights along the bottom and that's what's going to give you this sort of depth in the foliage So you can see you've got some of the lighter green popping out and at the bottom you can see some of the leaves in between the darker colours. Then we're going to take our gorgeous little dragonfly who comes from the bug set with Nocturne. He's so delicate. He's got this lovely little thin body here. 
and he's just going to pop in to say hello. I'm going to use now a piece of acetate as I work around the edge so that if there's any marks on my fingers, they don't transfer onto my card. So we're going to create a frame in green around the edge. And for this, I'm going to use um, mode Lawn in Distress Oxide and Rustic Wilderness. This two-tone, two-tone frame. And I'm just going to ink up my little sponge. And if you don't have these sponges, you can use the stencil brushes. They will work just as well. I guess it's just habit that I use these sponges now for the edges. You also can apply different pressures by squeezing the sponge and then you can get a darker edge and you can control it pretty well. And I'm moving it in a circular motion the whole time. And then I'm going to go in with Rustic Wilderness. It's, a, it's much darker, this Rustic Wilderness. And I'm literally just going to scoot around the edges. Yes, that's a good word for this. Scooting. <laughs> scoot, scoot around the edge. So my mowed lawn is still coming deeper into my card. But you're just getting this tiny little darker frame around the edge. Voila. Okay, now we're going to pop a bit of white Posca pen and you can see how randomly I'm popping this. So now we've created some interest at the bottom. I'm going to put some word sentiment in the background just to create a bit of texture there. For that, I'm going to be using this gorgeous script stamp, which is Sea of Fairy and Golden Meadow. So I'm going to ink up my stamp, stamp it off once, and then just lightly stamp it in the background here. That way you just get a bit of interest in the background, like that. So I'm now going to mount it and then come back to you and we'll do the glitter on her wings. So here we have, I gave her a nice wide border on the card and I'm just gonna take my stickles and color her wings in. Um, I'm using it in this bottle just because I had several bottles and I jammed the lids, so I decanted it into this one bottle, but it's the same beautiful icicles, stickles. I'm actually just going to put a bit of this sparkle. It dries clear, so you'll have this lovely sparkly effect at the bottom. So I'm just creating tiny little blobs see the tiny little blobs at the bottom there. All adding to this little magical feeling. So there we have it. Thanks so much for watching. I'd love to see what you make. And until the next time, bye for now.